Well, turning back now to the Mueller report, not everyone in Congress eager to react to today's developments in Washington. Fox 5's Doug Evans has reached out to many in the Georgia congressional delegation and is here now with reaction. Doug? So much was said before the release of the Mueller report, Sine and Tom. Given the opportunity to say more today, we had few takers. We quickly heard back from two Republicans. Let's start with Congressman Doug Collins, who said to us in part, quote, Democrats' accusations of criminal accusations of, are unfounded. I look forward to examining the mountain of facts supporting the principal conclusions the Attorney General and Deputy Attorney General shared last month. No collusion no obstruction. We also heard from a representative for Senator Johnny Isaacson's office, and here's what they had to say. Senator Isaacson is pleased that the U.S. Attorney uh, General Barr has released Mueller's final full report to the public, consistent with the need to protect counterintelligence sources and methods and avoid com uh, compromising our efforts to prevent future cyber attacks by Russia or other foreign governments, and he looks forward to reviewing the full report. Others want to review the full report, too, before making any kind of statement. That includes Congressman John Lewis. His press secretary told us this. Congressman Lewis is not planning to make a statement until he has had more of an opportunity to review the full report. Now, listen, we've got inquiries out to a number of lawmakers today. We'll update you on Fox 5 News at 6. Right, Doug, we'll see you then. Thank